video we are going to see about how to design a three bit synchronous up down counter using jk flip flop what is a three bit synchronous up down counter so we know three bit counter means there will be totally eight states that is it starts from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so totally 0 to 7 eight states will be there so if it is a up counter after 0 the next state will be 1 it counts in the upward direction after 1 you will get 2 after 2 it goes to 3 so after 7 it has to come back to 0 so this is up counter what is down counter down counter means if it is 0 instead of counting in forward direction it counts in reverse direction so either you can start from 7 or you can also start from 0 so it is your wish either you start from 0 or 7 so if it is 0 next state will be 7 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 so it counts in the reverse direction now we are going to see a counter which can count or which can work as a up counter or down counter depending upon your requirement so let us um, decide when it should act as a up counter and when it should act as a down counter so this is you can uh, decide whether you should keep m is equal to 1 or 0 that is your wish you uh, your only circuit will change so m i have taken m equal to 0 for up counter and mode selection signal m equal to 1 for down counter so this is the state diagram for up counter now in the same thing let me introduce the down counter also so after 0 for down counter what it will come 7 so arrow mark should be in this one so after 7 it you should get 6 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 so it comes in the reverse direction so here m equal to 1 so if i give m equal to 0 the mode selection signal as m equal to 0 the counter should work as a up counter and when m is equal to 1 it will act as a down counter i am going to design the counter using jk flip flop you can design using any flip flop the procedure remains the same so let me take the excitation table of jk flip flop so this is the excitation table of jk flip flop so we will uh, follow the same procedure as a up counter or a down counter already we have seen okay so in addition you have one more column here i have uh, taken it as a mode m so the mode selection signal first i have taken as zero so what we have seen if m equal to zero it will act as a up counter so here i have taken m equal to zero it starts from zero one two three four five six and seven so totally eight states are there okay so if this is the present state what will be the next state same uh, up counter table you can copy it or you can write zero means next state what it is one so you can write one for one next state is two then three four five six after seven it should come to zero okay. so this so once you have filled up uh, this table present state and next state correctly you take this table and for this input combination so for this output combination what should be the input so qc qc plus 1 0 0 means here you will get 0 x as input so 0 x so you can fill it up if you don't know how to fill up uh, these things refer to the up counter or down counter video and come here it is very easy just to see what is here qc and qc plus 1 it is equivalent to qn and qn plus 1 present state and next state if it is 0 0 the input should be 0 x so it is 0 x so next for qb we can fill up the table and for qa also you can fill up the table so for up counter we have finished the table next for down counter i am taking the mode as 1 m equal to 1 the same table 
So I am taking the same combination 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here, next state will change in the down counter. So when it is 0, the next state should be 7. So don't forget this. After 0, 7 should come. If it is 1, 0 is the next state. Okay, 0. So don't get confused here. You see this state diagram and if it is 1 here, you can write 0. If it is 2, the next state is 1. So see this diagram and write it correctly. So after that, the same procedure, we can fill up this uh, input combinations. So once this excitation table is uh, over, now we will um, first find the mean terms. So for this JC, you find where you are getting 1. So M3 is 1. Then another one is here M8. So I am writing JC is equal to 3 comma 8. Plus we have so many don't care terms. Where is the don't care? M4, M5, M6, M7. So 4, 5, 6, 7. Then uh, some more don't care. 12, 13, 14, 15 are don't care. So 0 you can leave it. So this is how you will write the mean terms. So JC for JC we have finished. Then next we have to write for KC. KC, how many 1 is there? Here 1, 1, here 1. This is equal to M7 and uh, this is 12. So 7, 12 plus don't cut term, you can identify and write it here. So similarly, you have to write for J, JB, KB, JA, KA. So all these things have been finished. Now we have to plot the K map. See, it is not necessary to write this. You can directly plot in the K-map, but it will be a bit uh, or it will take more time. And there is a possibility of making mistakes. So I wrote this one. So first you take JC. So what is uh, here? 3 comma 8. You have 1. So in 3 and M3 and M8, you mark 1. All these are don't care. So it will be easy to um, mark the k-map that's why I have written this without that from the table directly you can write it it is not a big issue so now we have to combine the ones together so this one can be combined with this don't care and here you can combine so you will get for this combination what you are getting ah, before that you should remember the k-map is plotted for four variables m I have taken the mode selection signal also as one variable m q c q b q a so four variables are here okay you have to include this m also so if you take for this combination the common term is m bar and here it is q b q c uh, sorry q b q a plus for this one m is the common one and here you have QB bar, QA bar. So we have finished JC. Next we will plot for KC. So KC with this we can plot it. Two ones are there, 7 and 12. Next we will combine the ones together. So here you have uh, for this combination it is M bar into QB QA same thing plus for this one M into QB bar QA bar. So JC is equal to KC that is what we are getting. Okay. Next we will do for JB. So you can combine these uh, four things together then here you can combine so you derive the expression here this is for kb again four uh, these things can be combined together and here two ones are there to combine with two don't care you will get one more term here 
So again, you can find that KB and JB, you are getting the same expression. Then we will simplify for JA. JA, you uh, need not do anything. All are ones and don't care. So the whole table will come. So it is JA is equal to one. KA also you see all are the all are ones there is no zeros so KA is equal to one. Now write JA KA JB KB or whatever we have derived it we can find that here in uh, J and K are same in all the three flip flops. Now let us draw the logic diagram. Always first draw this A or the LSB one here this side okay so j a k a equal to one so it is connected to one then you see j b is equal to m bar into q a plus m into q a bar so you need to draw a more selection line m and m bar okay so m i have taken here and m bar is uh, just put a inverter you will get m bar so what is JB? M bar into QA. So QA is here. M bar you have to hand it. You have to use a AND gate. Here one more AND gate. And here it is a plus symbol. So a R gate is required. So first M bar into QA will give you this term. Then M into QA bar. So QA bar is here. M is here. You put another AND gate. Both are connected through a R gate to JB. So connect this to JB. So already J and K are connected together because they have both same expression. Similarly, this side. Uh, what is this? M bar QB QA. So QB and gate. I have taken from this AND gate. You can take it from M bar into QA. A three input AND gate also you can use. But I have taken already this term is there. M bar into QA. Same term. So just AND with QB. Similarly, here you will get one more AND gate. Both are connected through a R gate. And connected to the C flip flop. So this is the circuit diagram. So this circuit or this counter can work as a up counter or down counter depending upon your requirement. If you give M equal to 0, it will act as a up counter. And if you give M equal to 1, it will act as a down counter. If you like the material, do subscribe to Read Electric Vehicle channel. And if you want the material, study material, you can refer to this uh, website, readelectric.wordpress.com. And if you need any other material, you can mail me at readelectricvehicle at gmail.com. Thank you.